I'm not talking right now. I'm just trying to get the uh, stream on my iPad here. I have four Apple products going. Okay, check, check, one, two, three. Checking mic, checking mic, one, two, three. Check, check, one, two, three.
Is there a wild card in round one? Uh, no wild card for either. No we're wild uh, card. we're so a... there's only five. There's only five painters in each round. Yeah. Okay. Chris, would you mind reading a couple of artist names for us? Absolutely, sure. At easel number one, we have Barbara Etchinson. At easel number two, we have Hesham Abdel Hadi. At easel number three, we have Yijun G. At easel number four, we have Jessica Pearlstein. And at easel number five, we have Dakota Crawford. Oh, wow. These guys are going to be amazing. I can't wait. Okay, so uh, for anyone who's starting to turn tune into the stream for Art Battle San Francisco, uh, welcome. And we're super excited to have you joining us. Looks like the team over there is just getting ready. The artists are setting up their palettes. Um, and we will be back with round number one in about 10 minutes. Exciting. Can't wait. It's going to be a great night of live art. Ooh, ooh, ooh.
At the end of that round, you'll be able to vote. You, uh, you gave your number at the door, and you should be able to pull out the link sent to you to the, uh, the website where you can vote on. And the top two people from both the first round and the second round will advance to the third round. And we'll then do and announce who's advancing to the third round at the end of the second round. And then at the end of that third round, the winner takes up $250 and all the art goes on silent auction, which I would very strongly encourage you, especially in this day and age, to support your local artists as much as you possibly can. Now, one of the more exciting parts about this is for each first and the second round, we will have a wild card. That is, one of you brave individuals that put your name in the bucket up front, we're gonna pull that out, and you're gonna get up and on stage and be able to pay for the rest of them. So we actually have had a wild card win today before, which is amazing. Uh, so without too much further ado, I will go and grab the wild card bucket for the first round while I pass it off to Mike to introduce the rest of the artists. Yep. Thank you, Alex. Give it up for our guy, they fucking rock right there. Our guy, Alex. Happy holidays, everybody. Hope you're in a good mood because we have some great holiday art coming out tonight. This is DJ Craig, so right here he's gonna throw down. Aren't you? Yeah. yeah. Let's uh, let's bring out our artist. What do you guys think, huh? Want to be the artist? <laughs> cheer for your that, that's exactly what I'm talking about. This lady's got it right here. You want to cheer for your favorite? And uh, of course, you can cheer anybody on that you'd like. So we're gonna bring out one time. No specific order. These are the round one artists. They're gonna come right out of there like Rocky. Here we go, this first round one artist. She likes to draw strange imagery and has realistic brushwork. She's gonna be on stage right now. Can you please give it up for Barbara Anderson? Barbara, come on out, there she is. Yes, Hugh Barbara right there. This boy's been here a couple of times, we like him a lot. Super fun. He's very spontaneous. He's got a lot of different styles. Bring out Hashim Hash right here. Come on out, Hash. 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 Oh, there we go. Can you already smell your paint? Oh, my goodness. Hash like to roll up outside. Yes, that's my boy right there. Happy holidays. Okay, our next artist brushes at the red. She's a master of ethereal portraits and energetic abstracts. Can you bring it? Give a big round of applause for Eugen B. <laughs> yes, she is. Think about it. You're a brusher. This is not good alone. She's not ready to win her, but oh my goodness, that's amazing. Good job. <laughs> this next artist born and raised in the Bay Area. She's opting for warm hues and exciting palettes. Her portfolio strongly encourages viewers to take action, respect nature. Take action, respect nature, and become aware of symbiotic relationships. Can you give it up for Jessica Rosen? There she is. Look at that. Okay, everybody, come on in a little closer. 
so we're going to watch some paint. And I want you guys to walk in a... All right, all right, all right. Welcome, everyone, to Art Battle San Francisco. Uh, we have just started round number one. My name is Morgan Booth. Uh, I am an artist and experienced art battler, and I am here with Chris Pemberton, Art Battle co-founder. Welcome, Chris. Hello, hello. Thanks for having me on the live stream tonight. Looking forward to seeing some great art from San Francisco. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Both of us uh, checking out the artists earlier tonight, and I gotta say, this is gonna be a really good round. I, I'm really looking forward to seeing what they create here. We have some some all stars in this first round, and uh, it's always a great night for uh, live art in San Francisco, one of the hotbeds. Oh yeah, and this is a this is a pretty cool setup that they've got going too. I love this being around the tree here. Right. It really, uh, it really gives a great uh, sense of whimsy to the whole thing. Absolutely. Oh, it just looks like such a fun venue. Oh, and your favorite, a disco ball. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We have full atmosphere going on. Yeah. We're partying tonight. So for those who don't know Art Battle, Art Battle is live competitive painting. Uh, tonight we're going to have 12 artists six artists in each round uh and they have 20 minutes to go from blank canvas to finished masterpiece for your votes the uh top two artists from each round will go into a third and final round where an event an event champion will be crowned and you can vote so go on over to artbattle.com slash vote uh and register to support your favorite artists yeah, it's uh, exciting to be able to participate in this from home. So uh, thank you guys for uh, joining us here tonight. We're getting up close right now uh, with one of the painters. Looks like uh, she's doing a uh, portrait of sorts. I'm having trouble seeing her name on the name card, which one that is, but we're going to get closer up here. And... Uh, now we're looking at Jessica Pearlstein, who's already got a great background in here. She's uh, working fast. I th Jessica has uh, painted in our battle before, and uh, so she knows how to get her work done in 20 minutes, and she's really got off to a fast start here. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and now we're looking at Yijun uh, and... I think that she's doing a really interesting composition with the uh, circle in the middle. Yeah, I have. Refresh my feed. Okay. Looks like we're dealing with, with just a touch of uh, spotty Wi-Fi here. But I believe that we are back. And now yep, we, are. we are hanging out at easel number two with Hashem Abdel Hadi. That's right. And some softer colors here. It looks like he's already got a figure sketched in there yeah in, uh, in a monotone so uh interesting to see where that goes but that looks that looks really great to start off with yeah absolutely like that torso and kind of just like the sense of movement that's going on already through the torso absolutely um and now we are hanging out with barbara etchison barbara etchison she's put her background in first here and uh it looks like she is doing a figure also can't tell for sure, but she's uh, working on some of the in some of the negative space. Yeah, interesting technique, working uh, almost backwards, seeming, uh, going yeah. from dark to light. We 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 don't usually see for this this sort of uh, 
portrait painting, we don't normally see the uh, background dark space put in first, mm -hmm. but uh, that's the way she's gone here. And uh, is this our wild card painter here? I believe that it is, and we are I'm just waiting to get, and that is Shiv Parikh at easel All number right. six. Uh, I always love a wild card painter. Absolutely. We uh, we meet a lot of great people through the wild card. Somehow the hat knows the right person to pick, and uh, it's always someone brave, that's for sure. Yeah, it takes a special kind of person uh, to put their name in for the wild card hat, because you're going to get chosen right away and literally thrown right up to the easel with not even 30 seconds to prepare. So it definitely takes uh, someone with a brave heart. It definitely does. And uh, we can see here a um, painting similar to Barbara's paint. Dakota's is similar to Barbara's painting. Yeah. She's, uh, she's got a uh, figure there, torso and head. And uh, she's filling out the uh, body. Now we're back with uh, Jessica. Oh my gosh, this palette. I... It's really beautiful. Oh, I love this palette. Um, so this palette is actually really indicative of Jessica's studio work. Um, she's using a lot of fuchsia and like those warm, the magenta going into the yellows. Um, that's really clear within her whole body of work. So she's definitely staying true to herself here, which I love seeing in art battle seeing how uh, that style translates yeah yeah she's uh doing some great work there already and we have uh yujun yeah this is really interesting um we're only seven minutes in and i feel like this piece is really uh providing a lot of mystery yeah this is um it's it's sort of cubist actually. Looks a little bit like a uh, multifaceted face there, but it's kind of it's uh, hard to hard to tell. We'll be see we'll be surprised by what she comes up with. Yeah, it'll be uh, it'll be cool to see whether or not she keeps leaning into this kind of abstracted. I'm getting a sense of a portrait, or if she goes into refining it to bring it more into the realist realm, because that's where her studio work is is blending surrealism and realism. Yeah, I think that uh, she's trying to bring her studio work to the canvas here, and uh, so far so good. Hashem's got his uh, figure there. Mm -hmm. Not a lot of... Um, he's working on the shading there. We haven't seen too much progress since we were around here the last time, but uh, looks like he's uh, got his direction set. And we're back to Barbara Etchinson. And uh, it would be nice to get close to her painting to see what she's doing there. Yeah, kind of uh, using these earthy tones. Um, and I can see that she's got some blues going on. Looks like she's kind of starting to refine some shadows underneath a neck, maybe? Yeah. Yeah, she's... Uh... She's, she's working on that neck area. She's been down here working on some details in what looks like the uh, the body area, the torso of the painting, but hard to tell what hard to tell what she's up to yet. I think that uh, we're gonna be surprised at what she's does here. she's uh, she's off to a good start. It's an ambitious painting mm -hmm. and now we're back to the wild card shiv. This piece is and, cool. Uh, <laughs> I know I know it's like it's seeming deceptively simple, but I'm really I'm digging it. I like the pattern. Yeah. No, coming in as a wild card, uh, it's uh, good to see somebody with an idea of what they're doing, and he's got a uh, he's definitely got a solid hand on it with the uh, the strokes that he's got in there. And uh, what looks like a um, banana. And I wonder whether or not that banana is um, kind of a nod to, do you remember the whole joke going around? It was last year or a couple of years ago about um, 
a banana that was duct taped to a wall selling at Art Basel? Yes, I remember that. <laughs> uh, I'm going to create my own narrative around this painting. That's that's what I'm getting. That's why I think it's so funny. Yeah. Okay, so we are at about 10 minutes remaining, halfway through the round. Uh, if you're out there in the internets enjoying watching the live competitive painting, um, head on over to artbattle.com slash vote where you can register to vote. Uh, and all of the works created tonight will also be up for silent auction. So if you're falling in love uh, watching any of these pieces being created, uh, you can bid to take them home and we will ship them to you. Yeah, definitely. It's either uh, add to your collection or start your collection with a uh, painting that you see created. You've got a great, uh, a great story and a great piece of art that you can uh, that you can have uh, shipped to you. So, get in there, artbattle.com/vote. Get your votes in and check out the silent auction. So good. I def I know that I have so many art bottle pieces in my home. I just oh, can't yeah, help it. Too. Like, <laughs> oh, I know you do. <laughs> art battle yeah. co-founder people. He's got. A, yeah, I've seen you keep some of the best stuff for yourself before. <laughs> I've got a few real beauties for sure. Uh, I've got a uh, a pretty large collection, and uh, over the years we've. Uh, you can't help yourself but take home some of the beautiful pieces that you see. And looks like we've popped back in here with Jessica Pearlstein. Uh, and again, still staying true to this just absolutely gorgeous palette. Absolutely. And uh, rocking these florals here. Um, and I love the way that she's taking on the pictorial plane. Just really like building this piece and guiding the eye as the gradation of the background gets lighter. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's 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 really good. She's she's able to add a lot of detail in there. It's difficult to work wet on wet, but uh, she's definitely doing a great job of getting different colors in there without them uh, without them mixing in a way that she doesn't want them to mix. Totally. There is no mud on Jessica's canvas. No mud at all. And here we're back with you, Jen. And I think that oh, we're yeah. getting both of what what we wanted. We wanted her to lean more abstract, and we were interested to see if she went more realist. And we're getting both. Yeah, she's done a beautiful job. That is a, a greatly, res a beautifully resolved face that she's got there. Half a face, and the other half is uh, sort of abstracted. It'll be interesting to see if she leaves the uh, white space around the circle or if she fills that in as the time ticks down. Yeah, and uh, deceptively simple. It's really difficult to do a pretty perfect circle, I would say, um, live painting. Like in general, but yeah. also in live painting. Definitely is. And it definitely is. Now we're hanging out with Hashem again. And we can see him adding kind of these uh, hatching marks almost in a burnt umber. Just refining this figure. Yeah. Yeah, he's uh, he's had that figure there from the beginning and he's uh, working on bringing it out. Yeah, very similar to uh, the initial sketch that he laid down in the first in just the first few minutes. And we're getting a really thoughtful rendering approach where he's just honing it um, over time. Definitely. Very simple palette for him. Mm -hmm. Now we're back with uh, Barbara and we can see that she is uh, added a hand in there holding something in front of the body. Oh, I was wondering what that shape was going to be. What do you think it is? Mm, it's hard to say. It looks just sort of like a... Um, maybe it's an amulet. Maybe it's a uh, bottle of perfume. Uh, maybe it is 
and the hand's not holding it, and it's something on the uh, on the chest itself. Very interesting to see where that goes. Yeah, I think that it is going to be hands holding it. And I got to say, doing double hands and starting on the hands when you've got uh, just a few minutes left, that is, that's a brave move. Yeah, no, absolutely. Okay, and we just have about five minutes left, so if you are out in the internets and you want to support these artists, head on over to artbattle.com slash vote. Uh, pick your favorite artist and make your vote count. Yeah, get in there. Is um, I think voting is open for the uh, first round. Definitely, uh, definitely we've got some images up there. And uh, get your vote in there and check out the silent auction while you're at it. Mm -hmm. And I can see that Jessica is really just refining her piece. And now we're back with Yijin. Uh, and yeah. she just looks like she's having so much fun. Like She looks like she's having a great time. She's bopping <laughs> to the beat. She's feeling it. She's worn her uh, dreamiest shirt that she has here tonight. So good. Such a look. Yeah. Such a great look. Just just having fun at the tree. Okay, and from Hashem, it looks like we're getting uh, a little bit more uh, concerned in his energy almost. A little bit swifter. Mm -hmm. We've seen him working really slowly, uh, building it up, and now we can see him with some quick, quick brushwork now. Yeah, he's feeling the time crunch there. He's uh, trying to bring out the dimensions of his figure, and uh, he's feeling he's feeling the crunch. And coming on in to our final two minutes. This one's going to be a nail biter, I think. Some good pieces here. Yeah, this is going to be, it's going to be interesting to see how these artists finish off their pieces. We've got uh, a lot of space left on these canvases for uh, the work to evolve with final touches. We see a lot of paintings change in the last couple minutes of our battle. And so uh, it'll be interesting to see how these paintings are finished off. Yeah, absolutely. You're always uh, in the last few minutes. It's These are the critical decision points because the faster, the more the time is getting to you, the easier it is to misplace a stroke. Absolutely. And uh, I don't think that we have... Uh, any artist at risk of overworking their piece here mm -hmm. uh that can be a problem when sometimes 20 minutes doesn't seem like a lot but sometimes the artist finishes their work at 15 minutes and then is not sure what to do and is at risk of overworking their piece but i think that um all six of our artists have the timing very well here here's our wild card shiv uh, and speaking of timing, this is a like good job on the pattern establishment. Absolutely, it's uh, that's a that's a brave decision to make to spend all that time putting the pattern in there. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's definitely he's definitely uh, committed to uh, his idea, and that's. Uh, something great to see in a wildcard painter for sure yeah and that kind of fiery background coming from dakota just emphasizing the figure yeah we have just 10 seconds left now counting down hey. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Right there, in your face, live. Just got your question. Way to go.
go. I know all you guys are doing a great job right there. Way to go, Dr. Dakota. Okay, guys. Bring yourself back. Okay, so voting is open at artbattle.com slash vote. Make sure that you get on over there, uh, get yourself registered, pick your favorite artist, you'll be able to all of the photos of the works there as well as the bid in silent auction. Uh, and we will be back in just a few minutes for round number two and a fresh 20 minutes and a fresh copy of art. Great, I can't wait. Stay
Neon color enjoys happy pastel hues and cartoon esque illustrations. And cartoon esque illustrations. Please put your hands together for Elsma Ramirez. Elsma, where are you? There she is, Elsma. Happy holidays, Elsma. Big start here today. Okay, let's call that wild card. Who's got the bucket? Carrie, you got the bucket? Yes. Here's the bucket. Anybody like to draw? I think she might be crushing this one right here. Liz, your paints are ready. Okay, round two artists, raise your hand. If you guys are ready, all my audience. It's coming a little closer, let's give them a big round of Closer, let's give him a big round of applause.
wonder if that's his reference material. Looks like he's... Um... Oh, that's Liam Sky. Is that Liam? Yeah. Great. So this must be Elsma. And looks like she is painting uh, with the exact shade that matches her hat. Exactly. She's, she's representing here. She's uh, keeping it all in fashion. So fun. I wonder... See her, uh, she's locked and loaded with, with two paint tubes sticking out of her back pockets. I love it. That's great. Great attitude. And we can see, uh, now that we're closer, we're getting a chance to see that she's filling in a sketch that she's laid down. So, yeah. uh, Elsma is mostly a digital illustrator so i think that we're going to get a lot of really clean line work from her that's right yeah she has uh, filled in with a sketch there I, don't, I think maybe that was pencil that she used looks like it was pencil and uh she is filling in here and we're coming to round two i think that this is dan uh aka tiger rider is what he goes by on social media. That's a great name. So good. And uh, check this hat, Chris. A hat after your own heart. It's perfect. So Dan is known for using a lot of neon colors um, and geometrics and also incorporating different perspectives into a single piece. So I think we're going to get some really interesting, cool stuff from him. That's great. Looking forward to seeing that. He's representing local colors with his San Francisco Giants hat. And is this our is this our wild card painter? Um, I think that this is Amy Lee. Uh, and Amy Lee. She is an experienced live painter. Um, and I was checking out her work earlier, and it seems true to that is that she was giving me Pollock vibes in her application, and I think we're we're definitely getting out of here. We're getting that little bit of pore painting action. Mm -hmm. She's worked entirely on the floor so far. And she's got the messy hands to prove it. <laughs> it's not an art battle until one artist is working on the floor. That's right. <laughs> That's right. A little bit of a uh, gravity technique here. Yeah. Banging on the floor to get the paint to slide down. And now we're hanging out with Jason Dockery. Um... And again with the charcoal. Yeah, yeah, he's he's covered his whole canvas there. He's having a great time. Oh yeah, yeah. Very. He's got uh, like some scribbles going on, but then has also smudged out part of it. So it'll be cool to see whether or not Jason goes pure charcoal or if he's going to work paint on top of that and if so um is he going to be using the pigment from the charcoal as it's mixing into the paint i'm still guessing yeah interesting what we're going to see here we're going to it's definitely going to be a surprise although what we've got right now is a lot of coverage and uh looks like he's Trying to figure out what he's going to do, or he's mixing paint. Hard to tell there. He's squatted down. He could be mixing his paint. And here we are with our wild card painter. Uh, so cool. They are using their friend's fist as a reference. That's right. So smart. That's a good friend to stand in there for the. That's a good friend to stand in there for the round. Yeah, for sure, and uh, and to po keep that pose for twenty minutes. That's right. It's harder That's than right. than you think to to hold a pose for twenty minutes, <laughs> especially one with your arm up. So we'll see if this person's uh, human reference doesn't faint before the end of the round. Okay, and we're back with Liam. And really using a super, super wet, wet, wet on wet technique. Yeah, definitely. He's, uh, he's covered his whole canvas with white. 
and that's coming through as he is brushing in the other colors. Yeah, just getting this kind of burst of rainbow going. Yeah. I wonder if he's changing brushes between colors or if he's going with the same brush. Yeah. And I also like that Liam is paying pretty careful attention to uh, the sides of his canvas also. Yeah, he's doing the whole job. He's making his painting into a, a real object. And here we are back with Elsma. Uh, and she's covered a lot of ground since we saw her last. Yeah, she's, uh, she's filled in around her uh, pencil marks with uh, light blue. And... Uh, <clears throat> Interesting to see what she is painting. Hard to tell right now. Yeah, still very uh, mysterious to me. We're just kind of working with shapes right now. But she is known to be uh, a little bit cheeky in her work too. So I think that maybe she's building to the element of surprise. Yeah, definitely going to be surprised by what we see there. This is a nice shot between the... Uh, through the light ring here. Yeah. We see uh, Tiger Rider. Totally also. made the assumption that this was a tiger. Before <laughs> our first our first go round. Yeah, it did look that way, but it doesn't look that way anymore. No. And uh, I think we've got at least three of the artists within with their hands here tonight. In yeah. This round. Yeah, very tactile painters in San Francisco tonight. That's right. Not afraid to get messy to get the job done. Mm -hmm. uh, and speaking <laughs> of, <laughs> here we are back with Amy. Yeah, she's got a uh, squirt. She has a squirt bottle there. And uh, a little bit of conversation between the two artists. Looks like they might be sharing paint. Oh, cool. That's Looks not like something that, that you usually see in an art battle. No, you don't see that very. I, I you don't see that very often. But uh, with uh, artists allowed to bring their own mediums uh, and working in close quarters, it's bound to happen. Well, I think that's really generous. I love. I love yeah. seeing that. The spirit of of art battle is alive and well. It definitely is, and we see some. Uh, she's she's got some great uh i don't want to call them strokes but some great lines in her painting there already yeah she uh, was she, she... drawing into the wet paint and kind of swirling it i think i think now I th I, there's four painters using their hands i think that's the most that i've ever seen in an art battle I round so. i think so and just look at how much fun Jason is having, too. You can see that he's bouncing yeah. his fingers to the music at the venue. He's enjoying it. He's really having a great time in there. That's uh, something that we love to see. And uh, <clears throat> we're coming back around now to the wildcard painter. It looks like she's got the fist done and maybe her model has been... Uh, relieved of duty. <laughs> yeah, good technique here. Um, impressed with the drawing ability over top of this wet ground. Yeah. That can be very difficult. And we're seeing them uh, hitting it with some uh, some contrast and shadow right now. Yeah, trying to uh, give some depth to the piece. I'm really liking that little highlight on the pinky there. Oh, and now we're getting a sleeve added. I was wondering whether or not it was going to float. This is Liz. Liz. That is number six. Liz. Okay, and back to Liam. Uh, that's unexpected. Oh yeah, that's since we've come around the last time. That's a totally new addition to the piece. 
Yeah, did not expect this um, abstracted figure development. I think Liam's kept us guessing uh, throughout the whole round. Yeah, this is, he's pouring a technique on top of technique here. Yeah. And uh, we're definitely uh, seeing that. I wonder where, I wonder where he's going to go with this piece, if this is going to be how it turns out or if there's another i wouldn't be surprised if there wasn't another layer coming yeah i'm wondering whether or not this figure might be some sort of like plant person and that the base might be like a plant pot and then i was getting leafy vibes from the the hands yeah all right and what has elzma got cooking for us we keep seeing um, these big leaps and additions in her piece, and I think maybe we might be getting some text now. Help us solve the mystery. Yeah, yeah it definitely looks like she's bringing some text in here. <laughs> that again can be hard to paint wet on wet. So the uh, the camera angle that we just had there for Tiger Rider, where uh, he just splatted that paint, the angle that we had, it looked like he had splatted it on Elsma. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, there's some collateral damage when it comes yeah. to uh, to art battle. It's, it's been not. Known to uh, it's known to happen for a painter <laughs> to catch some splash from the uh, artist next to them. So yeah, uh, doesn't she didn't seem to mind. <laughs> and hanging out with Amy now. Um, she looks like she's done. Yeah, it looks like maybe she's done. How much time do we have left uh, We have five minutes remaining. Five minutes remaining. And I love the yeah. confidence of an artist who knows when to stop. Yeah, definitely. She's, uh, looks like she's taking her hands off it now. And, uh, <clears throat> she's going to let the rest of the time ride out. It is good to know when to stop because uh, if you keep going on a piece like that, you end up in what's called the mud. And, yeah. Uh, so she has stopped and she's happy with her piece. And more hits of uh, finger painting here on the hand. Hand painted hand. That's... Uh, this is this is the fifth artist to be painting here with their hands. This is definitely a record for a round of art battle. Yeah. You saw it here first, folks. History in the making. That's and right. all all uh finger technique art battle on the horizon. It's only a matter of time. Yeah, look out for the washrooms in the venue getting uh <laughs> when they are these artists have to go clean themselves up. Yeah, absolutely. And just a few minutes remaining, if you are hanging out in the internets and watching with us and you want to support these artists uh, with your votes, head on over to artbattle.com slash vote. Pick your favorite artist, support them. Every vote counts. Um, also, all of the works tonight are up for silent auction. And if you're falling in love with any of these pieces as you're seeing them being created, we will ship them to you. Yeah, don't forget to cast your vote here for which piece you think is the best. Uh, a pretty even playing field this round. It's going to be hard to make a decision, but... Uh, and we have seen more more uh, change on this piece. And I think, you're, I think you're right. This is a plant person. We have definite uh, leaf for a hand and a flower for a head. I like the, uh, the hits of that magenta in the petals of the flower person. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, this might be our uh, our final look before the end of the round at what else has got going on. Oh, and an artist after my own heart. I love Twin Peaks. Uh, yeah, you do. <laughs> and she's done a really, a really tight piece here. Yeah, she's got some space left. 
she's going to fill in there on some white space on the bottom. I feel like we should get the DJ to start playing some Twin Peaks music. Just for you, Ozma. All right, and this piece turned out awesome. I love the movement here. Yeah. And I love the big signature. Tiger Rider. Oh, yeah, so good. Yeah, that's one of those pieces that you have up um, in your house and people know who the artist is because they're, like, locally famous. And it's like, what? You have that's a Tiger right. Rider? Someone's going to have a Tiger Rider after tonight. Mm-hmm. And it looks like Amy is keeping her feet, her plate, her piece on the floor um, doesn't want to risk the continuing yeah. of the painting with gravity. Nope, she's got she's leaving that there. A lot of great action going on in that painting. So hard to do a painting like that without uh, without uh, mixing your colors in the wrong way. She's done a great job. And now we are circling back to Liz. And just Great job. This is our second touches. wildcard painter we've seen here tonight. Yeah. And both seem to have pretty strong ideas coming in as to what they were going to do. That's really great to see. Yeah, a lot of confidence um, yeah. all across the board tonight. And this is definitely a good technique to fill in a lot of area in a short amount of time. Yeah, definitely is. Get messy. Okay. And I think that we're coming down to the final seconds. Yep. At least three of the artists have stopped painting. Thirty seconds, y'all. Thirty seconds. I'm so Thirty seconds remaining. We're seeing the final touches go in there. Oh, and look at this! They've got their awesome uh, countdown clock. Three, two, one. That's it. Round two of Art Battle San Francisco is done. Now it is up to the audience to vote for which painting they like the best. The top two painters from this round will join the top two painters from the first round in the third and final round. The winner of the third and final round will go through to the San Francisco City Championships with a chance to go to nationals. So exciting. Uh, high stakes event.
Artifacts as reference material. Looks like he's... Um, oh, that's Liam Sky. Is that Liam? Yeah. Right. So this must be Elsma. And looks like she is painting uh, with the exact shade that matches her hat. Exactly. She's, she's representing here. She's uh, keeping it all in fashion. So fun. I wonder... See her, uh, she's locked and loaded with, with two paint tubes sticking out of her back pockets. I love it. That's great. Great attitude. And we can see, uh, now that we're closer, we're getting a chance to see that she's filling in a sketch that she's laid down. So, yeah. uh, Elsma is mostly a digital illustrator so i think that we're going to get a lot of really clean line work from her that's right yeah she has uh, filled in with a sketch there I, I think maybe that was pencil that she used looks like it was pencil and uh she is filling in here and we're coming to round to i think that this is dan uh aka tiger rider is what he goes by on social media. That's a great name. So good. And uh, check this hat, Chris. A hat after your own heart. It's perfect. So Dan is known for using a lot of neon colors um, and geometrics and also incorporating different perspectives into a single piece. So I think we're going to get some really interesting, cool stuff from him. That's great. Looking forward to seeing that. He's representing local colors with his San Francisco Giants hat. And is this our is this our wild card painter? Um, I think that this is Amy Lee. Uh, and Amy Lee. She is an experienced live painter. Um, and I was checking out her work earlier, and it seems true to that is that she was giving me Pollock vibes in her application, and I think we're we're definitely getting out of here. We're getting that little bit of pour painting action. Mm -hmm. She's worked entirely on the floor so far. And she's got the messy hands to prove it. <laughs> it's not an art battle until one artist is working on the floor. That's right. <laughs> That's right. A little bit of a uh, gravity technique here. Yeah. Banging on the floor to get the paint to slide down. And now we're hanging out with Jason Dockery. Um... And again with the charcoal. Yeah, yeah, he's he's covered his whole canvas there. He's having a great time. Oh yeah. Yeah, very. He's got uh, like some scribbles going on, but then has also smudged out part of it. So it'll be cool to see whether or not Jason goes pure charcoal or if he's going to work paint on top of that and if so um is he going to be using the pigment from the charcoal as it's mixing into the paint i'm still guessing yeah interesting what we're going to see here we're going to it's definitely going to be a surprise although what we've got right now is a lot of coverage and uh looks like he's Trying to figure out what he's going to do, or he's mixing paint. Hard to tell there. He's squatted down. He could be mixing his paint. And here we are with our wild card painter. Uh, so cool. They are using their friend's fist as a reference. That's right. It's so smart. That's a good friend to stand in there for the That's a good friend to stand in there for the round. Yeah, for sure. And uh, and to po keep that pose for 20 minutes. That's right. It's harder That's than right. than you think to, to hold a pose for 20 minutes. <laughs> Especially one with your arm up. So we'll see if this person's uh, human reference doesn't faint before the end of the round. Okay, and we're back with Liam. And really using a super, super wet, wet, wet on wet technique. Yeah, definitely. He's uh, he's covered his whole canvas with white. 
and that's coming through as he is brushing in the other colors. Yeah, just getting this kind of burst of rainbow going. Yeah. I wonder if he's changing brushes between colors or if he's going with the same brush. Yeah. And I also like that Liam is paying pretty careful attention to uh, the sides of his canvas also. Yeah, he's doing the whole job. He's making his painting into a, a real object. And here we are back with Elsma. Uh, and she's covered a lot of ground since we saw her last. Yeah, she's, uh, she's filled in around her uh, pencil marks with uh, light blue. And uh, <clears throat> interesting to see what she is painting. Hard to tell right now. Yeah, still very uh, mysterious to me. We're just kind of working with shapes right now, but she is known to be uh, a little bit cheeky in her work too, so I think that maybe she's building to the element of surprise. Yeah, definitely going to be surprised by what we see there. This is a nice shot between the uh, through the light ring here. Yeah. We see uh, Tiger Rider totally also, made the assumption that this was a tiger before <laughs> our first our first go round. yeah it did look that way but it doesn't look that way anymore no and uh i think we've got at least three of the artists within with their hands here tonight in yeah this round yeah very tactile painters in san francisco tonight that's right not afraid to get messy to get the job done mm-hmm uh, and speaking of, <laughs> here we are back with Amy. Yeah, awesome. she's got a uh, squirt. She has a squirt bottle there. And uh, a little bit of conversation between the two artists. Looks like they might be sharing paint. Oh, cool. That's Looks not like something that you usually see in an art battle. No, you don't see that very. I you don't see that very often. But uh, with uh, artists allowed to bring their own mediums uh, and working in close quarters, it's bound to happen. Well, I think that's really generous. I love I love yeah. seeing that the spirit of of our battle is alive and well. It definitely is, and we see some. Uh, she's she's got some great. Uh, I don't want to call them strokes, but some great lines in her painting there already. Yeah, she uh, was she, she... drawing into the wet paint and kind of swirling it. I think I think now I, I, there's four painters using their hands. I think that's the most that I've ever seen in an art battle I round. So. I think so. And just look at how much fun Jason is having, too. You can see that he's bouncing yeah. his fingers to the music at the venue. He's enjoying it. He's really having a great time in there. That's uh, something that we love to see. And uh, <clears throat> we're coming back around now to the wildcard painter. It looks like she's got the fist done, and maybe her model has been... Uh, relieved of duty. <laughs> yeah, good technique here. Um, impressed with the drawing ability over top of this wet ground. Yeah. That can be very difficult. And we're seeing them uh, hitting it with some, uh, some contrast and shadow right now. Yeah, trying to uh, give some depth to the piece. I'm really liking that little highlight on the pinky there. Oh, and now we're getting a sleeve added. I was wondering whether or not it was going to float. This is Liz. Bad Liz. user number six. Liz. Okay, and back to Liam. Uh, that's unexpected. Oh yeah, that's since we've come around the last time. That's a totally new addition to the piece. 
Yeah, did not expect this um, abstracted figure development. I think Liam's kept us guessing uh, throughout the whole round. Yeah, this is, he's pouring a technique on top of technique here. Yeah. And uh, we're definitely uh, seeing that. I wonder where, I wonder where he's going to go with this piece, if this is going to be how it turns out, or if there's another, I wouldn't be surprised if there wasn't another layer coming. Yeah, I'm wondering whether or not this figure might be some sort of like plant person. And that the base might be like a plant pot, and then I was getting leafy vibes from the the hands. Yeah. All right, and what has Elsma got cooking for us? We keep seeing um, these big leaps and additions in her piece, and I think maybe we might be getting some text now. Help us solve the mystery. Yeah. Yeah, it definitely looks like she's bringing some text in here. <laughs> that again can be hard to paint wet on wet. So the uh, the camera angle that we just had there for Tiger Rider, where uh, he just splatted that paint, the angle that we had, it looked like he had splatted it on Elsma. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, there's some collateral damage when it comes yeah. to uh, to our battle. It's, it's been not. Known to uh, it's known to happen for a painter <laughs> to catch some splash from the uh, artist next to them. So yeah, uh, doesn't she didn't seem to mind. <laughs> and hanging out with Amy now. Um, she looks like she's done. Yeah, it looks like maybe she's done. How much time do we have left? Uh, we have five minutes remaining. Five minutes remaining. And I love the yeah. confidence of an artist who knows when to stop. Yeah, definitely. She's, uh, looks like she's taking her hands off it now. And, uh, <clears throat> she's going to let the rest of the time ride out. It, it is good to know when to stop because, uh, if you keep going on a piece like that, you end up in what's called the mud. And, yeah. uh, so she has stopped and she's happy with her piece. And more hits of uh, finger painting here on the hand. Hand painted hand. That's uh This is this is the fifth artist to be painting here with their hands. This is definitely a record for a round of art battle. Yeah. You saw it here first, folks. History in the making. That's and right. all all uh, finger technique art battle on the horizon. It's only a matter of time. Yeah, look out for the washrooms in the venue getting uh, <laughs> when they are, these artists have to go clean themselves up. Yeah, absolutely. And just a few minutes remaining. If you are hanging out in the internets and watching with us and you want to support these artists, uh, with your votes, head on over to artbattle.com slash vote. Pick your favorite artist, support them. Every vote counts. Um, also, all of the works tonight are up for silent auction. And if you're falling in love with any of these pieces as you're seeing them being created, we will ship them to you. Yeah, don't forget to cast your vote here for which piece you think is the best. Uh pretty even playing field this round it's gonna be hard to make a decision but uh and we have seen more more uh change on this piece and i think you i think you're right this is a plant person we have definite uh, leaf for a hand and a flower for a head i like the, uh, the hits of that magenta in the petals of the flower person yeah absolutely okay this might be our uh our final look before the end of the round at what else has got going on oh and an artist after my own heart i love twin peaks <laughs> yeah you do <laughs> and she's done a really a really tight piece here Yeah, she's got some space left. 
she's going to fill in there on some white space on the bottom. I feel like we should get the DJ to start playing some Twin Peaks music. Just for you, Elsa. All right, and this piece turned out awesome. I love the movement here. Yeah. And I love the big signature. Tiger Rider. Oh yeah, so good. Yeah, that's one of those pieces that you have up um in your house and people know who the artist is because they're like locally famous and it's like what you have That's a tiger right. rider someone's gonna have a tiger rider after tonight mm -hmm. and it looks like amy is keeping her feet her her piece on the floor um doesn't want to risk the continuing yeah. of the painting with gravity Nope, she's got she's leaving that there. A lot of great action going on in that painting. So hard to do a painting like that without uh without uh mixing your colors in the wrong way. She's done a great job. And now we are circling back to Liz. And just Great job. This is our uh, second touches. wildcard painter we've seen here tonight. Yeah. And both seem to have pretty strong ideas coming in as to what they were going to do. That's really great to see. Yeah, a lot of confidence um, yeah. all across the board tonight. And this is definitely a good technique to fill in a lot of area in a short amount of time. Yeah, definitely is. Get messy. Okay. And I think that we're coming down to the final seconds. Yep. At least three of the artists have stopped painting. Ooh. 30 seconds, y'all. 30 seconds. Thirty seconds remaining. We're seeing the final touches go in there. Oh, and look at this! They've got their awesome uh, countdown clock. Three, two, one. That's our battle. two of our battle of san francisco is done now it is up to the audience to vote for which painting they like the best the top two painters from this round will join the top two painters from the first round in the third and final round the winner of the third and final round will go through to the san francisco city championships with a chance to go to nationals in our I'm, I'm not very familiar with it myself. I tend to get really excited. Yeah. 
and start the pain, please make sure you put down a video. And they go to local art tonight. And uh, let's give these artists a big round of applause before we get started. We're gonna give them 20 minutes, and in 20 minutes, so it's gonna take up 250 seconds. That's a good little bit of holiday change. Here we go, guys. Four, three, two. Okay, and we are off to a, another round of live competitive painting, this time the final round of the night. The top two artists, as voted by the audience, have moved forward. So in this round, we've got uh, Yujun Ji, Hashem Abdel Hadi, uh, I believe we have Liam and Amy, Liam Sky and Amy Lee in the third and final round here. That's great. Can't wait to see what they come up with here with their second painting. Mm hmm. And as we, as we know, all it takes to win our battle is to do a great painting and then do a better one right after. <laughs> my favorite saying, that's my favorite art battle. Well, my second favorite art battle saying, I would say, I think, you know what my first is. Uh, let's paint. <laughs> Close. Um, it's called art battle, not art friendship. <laughs> <laughs> we we saw some art friendship in the uh, second round with the artist sharing paint. There. Absolutely, I know. I love to make that joke, but it really is such a great opportunity for community. Um, and there's just so many friendships that are made at art battle. So many. And Not just we, between the painters, but between the audience and the painters, too. Oh, absolutely. Like, it really, Art Battle really gives everybody an opportunity to to chat about art and people who are not usually used to moving around in the same spheres as artists. They get to be up close and personal. Yeah, and it looks like we are underway here in the uh, third round. And you can tell that we are uh, currently sitting on the DJ booth as the little uh, the blur that we're getting is actually the sound from the DJ booth, which is kind of cool. That's fun. Vibrating the camera. That's yeah. Right. <laughs> It'll be interesting to see what they come up with if we see similar paintings from these artists or if they do something completely different. I'm looking forward to seeing Hashem's painting. He uh, had such a distinct style uh, with his first round piece, that uh, monochrome uh, figure of a woman. Uh, it'd be interesting to see what he does here in the second round. I'm really looking forward to seeing his painting. Yeah, absolutely. And I was, uh, I was really surprised with Hashem's first piece uh, in juxtaposition to his studio work because he actually comes from an architectural background and a lot of his drawings were really angular um, and in his first round piece we saw these really beautiful soft soft lines and soft blending techniques yeah here we have um <clears throat> Just a note that the reason that the camera is on the DJ booth is that the uh, the phone that they're using to do the video is charging right now. Uh, the tethers of technology. That's right. We can only we can only do what the batteries let us do. So. We will stick in here with it as long as we can. And hopefully we get to see these paintings up close. Yeah. Um, and I'm sure soon that we will be seeing them starting to pop into uh, the votes as well, into artbattle.com slash vote, um, where you'll be able to see these pieces. Uh, we like to take progress shots as they're going. 
Yeah. Yeah, you can definitely keep following. If you're watching at home and the, li and the live stream drops, you can follow along at artbattle.com. Uh, on your voting link, you can see updated paintings and you can still vote for the final round piece uh, as it comes through there. So that's a, that's a good note. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to see these uh, paintings through to their completion, but... Uh, if not, we'll just do the best we can and we'll all pay attention to the uh, voting screen to see the final pieces. I have to say one of my uh, favorite pieces of the night was also uh, Eugen's piece, who is in this round now. Oh yeah, that was she really did a spectacular piece. That, that first one was just beautiful. And it was really cool the way... Uh, that that she had done uh, those swipes of color on the one side of the circle that she had going. Yeah. Yeah, a very a very interesting piece, and almost a perfect hard to hard to get a you know, perfectly centered circle on your canvas. And she did such a great job with that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and here we're starting to see some of, uh, in the voting software, we're starting to see some of these guys popping through. Um, looks like Liam is again taking that super wet technique where he covers the whole canvas in white first. The only other artist that I actually know that does that um, was Bob Ross. Oh yeah, did he do that? Yeah, he had a um, like a signature technique using uh, what he called liquid white, um, where he'd cover the whole canvas in white and then paint on top of them. Wow, I know uh, I've, I've seen some artists do an all an, uh, do a red background and then um, paint over top of that. Yeah, we know uh, we know a couple of artists that love to do that. Barb Tanaik, uh in Toronto being one of them. Yeah, and we saw at the last Art Battle Toronto, we saw Katie Irwin do that with her uh, with the cow. portrait of a cow. Yeah, that was cool. And I've seen some of her studio work, and that's something that she does in the studio too. And I know Barb does that as well. Mm -hmm. And we have about 12 minutes left in this round. And if you want to, if you're still hanging out with us on the internet and you want to see uh, how these works are looking, head on over to artbattle.com slash vote. Okay, and looks like our stream has dropped for a moment. And I think that we're back. Yeah, we're, we're, we're live here. We can see we're looking over the DJ booth and the paintings are set up at an auction table there. We can see people looking at the paintings. And Chris, what um, would you, you say your favorite out. piece was tonight? I'd have to say that my favorite was uh, Eugen's piece in the first round. Yeah, super that, strong. Um, super strong piece. Super strong piece. I also really liked Amy in the second round. Uh, she uh, uh, painted the whole thing on the floor, which is uh, harder to see it if you're at the venue. But one of the benefits of uh, Art Battle is that you can get a nice up as an audience member. You can get up close and see the art in progress. So, her, anyways, her painting was... Uh, really strong there and uh, she is doing something very similar 
this round. I think she's on the floor again. I would say that my favorite piece from tonight was probably Jessica Pearlstein with that uh, beautiful purple to magenta to yellow gradient with the florals on top. I thought she did a really, really nice crisp execution on that. Yeah, she did a really great job. That was a beautiful piece uh, there. The gradation in the background that she laid down first and then painted over was just uh, exceptional. Absolutely. Keep it quieter. And we're at about eight minutes left. Voting is open at artbattle.com slash vote. And don't forget that all of these paintings tonight are up for auction. It's a uh, silent online auction, and we can see that... Uh, there's quite a few bids coming in here. The, most of the paintings have bids on them right now. We see some of them are uh, up there. We have 195 on Yi Jun's painting and 195 on the Twin Peaks painting from the second round. Oh, nice! So, uh, yeah, I'm glad to see uh, glad to see some of these works getting some love. And the wildcard painting from the second round by Liz is uh, up to $85 so nice very uh, powerful imagery very powerful she did a great job using an audience member as a model and uh, very innovative way to take charge of the moment I've just got uh, all of the works from the auction uh, playing on the screen right now. We're just kind of running through all of them and seeing all of the work that's been created tonight on the stream here. Looking back at uh, Barbara's piece, it almost looks like she had like a window. I think that was what the object was that we were trying to figure out on the chest. I think it was almost oh, like yeah. a window through the body. Interesting. Very interesting. Yeah, we saw a couple of similar pieces in the first round. Um, from the, the perspective they were painted from of the uh, the, the torso and the head of a figure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we had uh, Dakota with that super vibrant red background um, and the figure, the tor just half of a torso. Yeah. Uh, 
and we just got the five minute remaining announcement. We can see photos of the uh, paintings on the uh, voting screen right now. And uh, it looks like uh, Yi Jin Lee has gone with the circle theme again. Um, very interesting, a very well drawn, very well painted hand reaching down to a face on the right hand side. Oh, I'm just um, seeing it now. Wow, that's gorgeous. Yeah, and uh, Hashem is doing he's keeping his palette almost this in the same the same palette he used in the first round and uh for this round though he's painting a portrait of it looks like a man uh but the same palette that, that must be i'd love to have a look at his studio work and see if that's uh his favorite color mm -hmm. that beautiful kind of soft uh browns and it seems like he's using a lot more kind of angularity um, in this portrait than the much softer technique that we saw in his first round piece. Yeah, his first round piece was kind of a, um, was kind of uh, foggy almost. Mm -hmm. And uh, this one has definitely more uh, solid bars of color and uh definitely a collection more of a collection of shapes of hard angled shapes and we see amy lee's painting is up on the easel so i don't know if she's finished already or not but uh her painting she is not on the floor it's up on the easel and it looks like she definitely used gravity to her advantage for this piece um, with these neon colors cascading over that dark, dark background. Yeah, definitely. And another plant-based work from Liam. Yeah. With Liam, we know that he keeps adding more features as uh, he goes through the 20 minutes. So it'll be interesting to see where that tree ends up and what else ends up in the frame there. Again, it looks like he's painted this. It looks like maybe he's painted the sides of his canvas, making the whole thing into an object. I love that careful attention to detail. So cool. I really always think that that kind of, for me, marks a pro in art battle, that it's like they're thinking of everything kind of thing. Yeah. Okay, and I'm seeing some updated photos. And wow, Yujin's piece is just so impressive. Um, the way that she's created these like separate narratives or separate pieces almost that are telling the same story. Definitely. Sort of a um, sad mask happy mask sort of uh, theatrical theme going on there. Mm -hmm. and looks like we have just one minute remaining Who will be the winner of tonight's Art Battle San Francisco event? Tough call. Tough call. I think that uh, Eugene Lee has a great chance. I have to agree. That piece really She's, evolved uh, in an interesting way. Yeah. And... Uh, She's got some similar traits between her two paintings, but yet they're totally different pieces. Absolutely. And I, I just love seeing that. I love seeing an artist that they 
they demonstrate the breadth of their ability across the rounds by doing something that's different, but it's still calling back to the first one. That's it. That's the final countdown. And Lee Jin Lee is jumping up and down for his joy. I love it. I love seeing just so much joy coming from our artists here tonight. So you still have an opportunity to vote at artbattle.com slash vote. Um, check out these pieces, photos of these pieces over there. And help us determine the winner of tonight's event. Yep, time to get your votes in. The winner of this event goes through to the San Francisco City Finals, which will be happening probably in March, maybe in February. The national championships are scheduled for April the 2nd. That's exciting. So, and where's that yeah. happening, Chris? It's happening in Wichita Falls, Texas. Which oh, that's is awesome. A, uh, we have such a good team there. Uh, we have such a great team there, and they are hosting the national championships. They were set to host the national championships in April of 2020, but of course everything got uh, postponed because of the pandemic, and uh, they are raring to go, and uh, they are going to uh, play host to the whole country there in that uh, small town. It's uh, um, about... 90 minutes from Dallas, Texas, where we also have events in Dallas. And the actually the Texas state finals are going to be in Dallas uh, ahead of the national championships. But um, we're going to see painters from across the country there, everybody descending on, uh, on Texas for the uh, final. And the national championships is always uh, just an absolute... Uh, bombshell of amazing art. That's going to be so fun. We're literally going to be painting the town. Absolutely. A lot of artists in that community. A lot of artists in that community. Our uh, co-founder, Simon Plashkis, uh, went down there for their last event and he was just blown away. Yeah, I had an opportunity to, to watch that as well and it was just, it was so cool. Yeah, we were able to watch that event uh, through the live stream, the magic of the internet. Mm -hmm. And looks like the votes are still being counted and the auction is still open. Um, we are going to sign off for the night. However, we will be announcing the winning artist on Art Battle uh, San Francisco page on Instagram. That's Art Battle and San Francisco. That's right, and we will be um, texting out to anybody who's registered to vote. We'll be texting out the uh, winner and uh, uh, later tonight as well. So it's been a real treat to be watching uh, up out San Francisco. We have on the vote app, we can see the final paintings uh, right now. Quite a great collection there. We see that uh, Liam did really flush out that tree. And uh, Yi Jin Lee has created a, uh, a magical piece with a, uh, a missing face. Quite beautiful. Yeah, so many different displays of technique um, in this event. So we want to take an opportunity to thank all of the amazing artists uh, that painted with us tonight. And congratulations to our finalists, um, our epic team in San Francisco 
for throwing an awesome event and to all of you wonderful people out in the internets for hanging out with us. Great. Thanks for joining us and uh, stay tuned. Plenty of art battles coming up. We're going to be in Tacoma tomorrow night. Exciting. That's right. And we're going to be in uh, Florida at Ormond Beach on Friday night. And then later in the evening, we're going to be in Victoria, British Columbia, Canada. Uh, for a holiday event there. So a lot of events this week. And uh, 